Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I'm bringing you today's word for March 3rd, 2014. The title of the message is The Love of God. The Love of God, the greatest truth I have ever learned is that God loves me. That's the truth that's, that's really changed me. It's changed my heart and it's changed me forever. That's what I'm going to teach on this morning. This is part of the series on grace that we've been doing for some time and part of the mini series, minimizing your humanity in order to maximize the divinity that God has placed in you. So in this series, especially the mini series we've studied over the last few weeks, John chapters 5, 6, 8, and 12. And last week, we spent a lot of time in John chapter 14. And that's kind of where we are right now in John chapter 14. And we've learned thus far that Jesus only said what he heard the father say. He only did what he saw the father do. And in John 14, we learned last week that John 14 and 12 says that you and I, we're able and supposed to do what Jesus did. He said, the works that I do, you're going to do and even greater works because I'm going to my father. So you and I are supposed to live like Jesus lived. We're supposed to do what Jesus did. We're supposed to hear from the father and remember that the father will provide us the words. He will also provide us the work. Well, in this same chapter, John chapter 14, Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commandments. And simply put, if you love me, then you ought to just do what I say, right? I mean, you ought to do what I tell you to do. And this is uh, the setup now for, for today's message. Today's message comes from John chapter 14 and verse 21. And, and in this verse, he said, every man who knows my commandments and obeys them, this is the man who really loves me. And every man who really loves me will himself be loved by my father. And I too will love him and make myself known to him. Jesus said, if you really love me, you're going to do what I said. And if you do that, you prove that you really love me. My father's going to love you. I'm going to love you. And watch this. I'm going to reveal myself to you because you're showing that you really love me by doing what I said. So what does this mean to you today? I'm going to give you three things. Uh, the first thing is that you show your love for God through obedience, right? At the end of the day, you prove that you love God by obeying what he tells you to do. Jesus said, if you love me, once again, obey my commandments. Every man who knows my commandments and obeys them is the man who really loves me. Knowing the commandments is one thing. Knowing what his word says is one thing. Hearing what he tells you to do is one thing, but then doing it, you know, responding to it, obeying it, that's really another level. So why would you want God to show you? Uh, I got a lot of people that say, oh, God, tell me what your will is. And then he speaks to you and then you don't do it. So, I mean, if you're asking him to speak to you or if you want him to reveal the word to you, then he does it. Your job then is to obey it, to respond to it. You receive and then you're supposed to respond to what he tells you to do. So the, my question for you is, do you love God? His word says, if you love him, you will do what he tells you to do. So do you really love God? If you do, then you just do it. Now, wait a minute. Hold on, Rick. That sounds real simple. Yeah, it sounds simple. Uh, but at the end of the day, it requires faith. Why? Because God wants to perform the supernatural in the earth. God wants to do the impossible in the earth. God wants to reach the world in the earth. And he wants to do it through you. And to do it, he's going to lead you to do some things that you can't do. He's going to lead you to do some things that exceed your ability. He's going to lead you to do things, to attempt things that exceed your resources. And he wants you to attempt to do it by faith, even at the risk of looking foolish. He will tell you to say something that you're like, man, I don't really want to say that, but you got to do it because you love God. He will lead you to attempt something and you're like, man, I don't really want to attempt that, but you do it because you love God. So he will lead you to do it. And if you really love him, you, you will launch out and you will attempt it in faith, relying on him to do what you cannot humanly accomplish. Amen. Number two, you express your love to God no, as you express your love to God, you will experience his love on another level, man. This is awesome. I love the, the, the fact of knowing and experiencing the love of God. I mean, the fact that he loves me, me, and I know me like, like only me and God knows me, right? And the fact that he loves me and he loves me in spite of my faults and my flaws and my failures. He loves me even in spite of me. I've messed up more times than I want to talk about. He loves me. And, and when I express my love towards him, I get to experience his love on another level. Jesus said, every man who really loves me will himself be loved by my father and I too will love him. 
See, when you first come to God, you, you, you experience the love of God because you can't get saved without it, right? You can't get born again without the love of God. But really, you don't know how to love him back. You, you, you're, you got the love, you received the love, but you don't know how to give the love. And so the more you die to self and you start learning to die to sin and to self, you start to express your love back towards God. And the more you love him and you express your love to him, the more he loves you. And then he reveals his love to you on a greater level. It's a, it's a greater realization of the love of God. And when you get to that point, I'm telling you, you will be changed and you'll be changed forever because the love of God, once it gets down in your heart, you cannot be the same. You, it, it changes you uh, uh, on a deep level and it changes you permanently you will you will be a different person when you experience the love of God on the level that he wants to reveal himself to you and then number three the more you obey God the more he will reveal himself to you Jesus said every man who really loves me will himself be loved by my, by my father and I will love him watch this and I will make myself known to him as you show your love for God by obeying what he tells you to do and attempting to do what he tells you to do, even at the risk of looking foolish, even when you when it exceeds your resources or your human ability, then he will reveal himself to you on a greater level. Why? Because he knows he can trust you. Why? Why would God reveal the deep aspects of his nature to someone who's not willing to do what he says? <laughs> so if you really want to know God on a deeper level then just simply do what he tells you to do and attempt to do it even when you know you can't do it. Even when he, he's leading you to do something that exceeds you, then attempt to do it in faith. I mean, what do you have to lose? I mean, you just launch out there in faith, believe in God, doing what he's leading you to do, relying on him to bring to pass his perfect will for your life. And as you do that, you will experience his revelation, not only his love, but his revelation on a greater level, he will reveal himself to you, the, the deep aspects of his nature. He will reveal himself, the person of God. He will reveal himself to you because you love him and you obey what he's telling you to do. So let's close this out with a confession of faith like we always do. Say, Father, I thank you for your love and your undeserved grace towards me. You love me enough to send your son Jesus to die for me even when I was of no use to you whatsoever. You loved me while I was a sinner. Jesus loved me enough to die in my place. And the Holy Spirit loves me enough to live in me. Even during those times that I expose him to things that make him cringe. Thank you, Father, for your love and your grace. You are far better to me than I deserve. By faith, I declare that I prove my love for you by simply doing what you tell me to do. I obey your commandments. I know you want to impact the world through me. Therefore, I will attempt to do whatever you lead me to do even when I know it exceeds my human ability. I will launch out in faith, even at the risk of looking foolish. What is impossible with man is possible with you. So I'm ready, I'm willing, and I'm open to attempt the humanly impossible by your supernatural power. I decrease that you may increase through me. And as I do, you reveal yourself to me on a greater level. I show my love for you by dying to self and living for you. You then, you then pour your love into me on a greater level and it changes me forever. I love you, you love me, and your love is the fuel that keeps me going, even when I feel like giving up. I declare this by faith, in Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word, apply it and prosper. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. God bless you.